Let's examine the iOS command modes in Packet Tracer. I'm using Packet Tracer 6.2 and I have a desktop PC with a console connection to a 2960 series switch. I'll click on the desktop PC, click on the terminal emulation program and click OK and you can see that I'm presented with a console command line interface. This is the Cisco iOS. I'll press enter on the keyboard to get started. Notice the command prompt here at the bottom. The Cisco iOS uses different command modes to establish different privilege levels for the users and different commands that are available in each command mode. For instance, the blinking cursor that you see right now and the word switch with the greater than sign indicates that I'm in user exec mode. User exec mode has very little privileges. But if I type enable and press enter, I'm presented with privileged exec mode. I can tell this because the prompt has changed from a greater than sign to a hash or pound sign. Privileged exec mode offers a higher privilege level for the user and more commands that are available. If I would like to go to a higher level, I can go into global configuration mode. I can reach global configuration mode by typing in configure terminal and pressing enter and now I'm in global configuration mode or global config mode. This is where most configurations of a switch or router will take place. There are also sub configuration modes like interface configuration mode. If I type interface VLAN 1 and press enter I'm put into the interface sub configuration mode. 